Hello, my name is Dustin Owsley and I am a doctoral candidate in choral conducting at the University of South Carolina. My hopes for the future is that one day I may attain a position as a full-time professor in music. Today I would like to take a few moments to discuss one major challenge that our current students face each day. Competition. We live in a country and society where winners are placed on pedestals, heralded as icons, while losers are ridiculed, forgotten in the blink of an eye. It has become unacceptable, even shameful, to fail. I often hear the phrase, failure is not an option. Winning isn't everything, it's the only thing. And if you're not first, you're last. But who are the instigators of these so-called creeds? I believe it's the parents, teachers, and coaches of the very students we teach. This concept of perfectionism and the idea that one must be the smartest, the most talented, the most athletic, the most beautiful, tallest, thinnest, etc., has created a generation of students who are terrified to make anything less than an A and resistant to negative feedback or criticism that is intended to mold that student into something better than they are. We as educators cannot change the seed that has been planted in the minds of our students. We cannot pull these students out of situations where they have been brainwashed into thinking that mistakes are unacceptable. But we can provide for them a nurturing environment where mistakes are acceptable, even encouraged. We can teach them a healthy respect for new challenge. We can provide them with a feasible roadmap for accomplishment. And we can reverse the damage that has already been done. In my classroom, students will be taught the importance of respecting themselves and their peers in an effort to produce a comfortable, though intense, atmosphere for discussion and learning. Frequently, students will be asked to think critically for themselves, to produce cohesive arguments in a clear and intelligent manner, to respect the opinions of their peers, and to value the importance of constructive criticism, never losing sight of the fact that mistakes are a normal part of learning. Now. You may be asking yourself, is this man actually going to get around to teaching music? Of course. But I strongly believe that the concept of a respectful, comfortable learning environment must be established before content can be presented in a way that will be digested effectively. In the classroom environment, if students are not confident enough to speak out, if they are terrified of making a mistake, I believe that learning is being thwarted in a major way. In closing, I would like to offer a proofread edition of the mantras I mentioned previously. If you're not first, someone wanted it more than you did. They should be congratulated, and after a good meal and a night's rest, we can figure out what went wrong and try again. Winning isn't everything, but doing your best is. And finally, failure is indeed an option, but giving up is not. Thank you for your time.